What's up, y'all? What's up, Trom here? Hope everybody's doing good. And, um, so, I want to talk to y'all about something. So, uh, do y'all watch The Dead Files? If so, go to Season 5, Episode 6. It's called From Beyond. Um, it's from this girl, or his family is from Macon, Georgia. And she had this crazy dream. Like, almost the exact same dream that I had. And basically, um, she is outside. People are dancing. There's a party going on. And the sky is filled with red. And um, this red tint is everywhere. And I know exactly what she means. And she hears something, you know, crashing from the sky. And um, she looks up. Everybody looks up at the same time. And um, you know, that's when she wakes up. But um, for me... You know, there's a red sky, fog, it's the red fog is slowly descending. I hear the sonic boom or something. Um, it comes into the atmosphere and uh, it seems like I'm at like a Halloween party or a masquerade. When the sound of the atmosphere breaking occurs, everyone looks up. Everyone stops to look up. The fog now at our feet, people look next to one another and half of everyone has disappeared. Inside the party, a uh, glass alien or ice sculpture just automatically just shatters out of nowhere. Then I see this running, people running in panic. Comets or uh, shooting stars or um, maybe, you know, uh, tracers shooting above our heads. Um, this basement door then closes. Uh, or a bomb shelter, maybe it was. Um, then, all of a sudden, in the dream, I'm walking through blood. I'm sloshing, sloshing through this blood. It's like a river of blood or an ocean or something. The next to me, um, I look it up and there I'm at a sphinx. Um, and then there's this like, dark black goo um, as like a moat next to the sphinx. Uh, the black goo becomes almost you know silver in the dream. Um, the silver beads off, and then I'm like at this like fountain. Um, the silver, you know, the silver goo is now around this you know um golden box you know golden brown box um with on the top there's like a shiva and like a kali and they were like both laying on this couch thing it's like a red couch um the sound of like electric current then starts to happen like a dc hum so now i'm like running through the snow trying to run anyway and um these ships, like UFO ships, are shining this beam onto people whenever they, they disappear. So, um, the light goes over me, and it doesn't take me, though. And then these fighter jets, you know, come into frame. <sighs> so then, you know, I'm running out of fear, and I'm in this, like, in a um, farm field. There's, like, um, corn crops. Uh, wheat, it, this wheat is on fire. There's like a guy trying to sell potatoes, but no one's buying them because they're, they're, I guess they're bad. Um, then I'm on this hill, and um, there's like this altar with a triangle with a circle in it. It's like these little lizards, these little nasty lizards running around. Um, behind this, the triangle, that red mist is like hanging over these all these dead people. It was like a mass burial. This old ancient building, um, it's like a triangle diameter with circles or bubbles um, as the wall. Uh, blood, teeth, and hair were on this table that I guess looked like they were using for, uh, you know, rituals. These like flying little eel snakes are like all around 10 feet from the ground. So, but in this chair, it's like an old Roman chair or like, um, or English and um, there's this like two year old in it, and um, the moon reflects this. His color is like pale and blue. The child has a this crown, but it's like a different. It has four sides and it has um, four can four candles on each side. Um, the people around are very fearful and very very obedient. Then I smell this licorice smell. This lizard dog being sitting like a dog close to the child. Um, this lady then throws up the snake, a snake, a kid, 11 or 12, then throws up another snake, uh, like gagging this woman or man who looked both, he looked like both to me. It looked like both to me, um, starts gagging right in front of me. 
and um, so, you know, the snake starts to come out halfway, and um, I start gagging, and I I woke up gagging. Um, it was a terrible, just terrible, terrible dream, and I, I really wasn't even sure I was going to tell anybody about tell you all about it, but um, I'd love to know what y'all think in in general. You know, why would I have a dream like that? And what's weird is that girl had almost the exact same dream. Um, yeah, I think it was like 2017. In 2017, I had a dream like that too, though. And I'm not going to tell that one right now. Um, I'll have to find it. Maybe I'll put it in the um, in the you know comment section or something like that. But um, yeah, I've already I had a similar dream before with that red mist and the sky being red. And uh, it's like the end of the world is happening or something. And anyway, in the show, um, they find out that she's being taken by aliens. Um, she's been taken since she was a kid. Um, and as you know, have I, I'm sure as have many of you. Um, but I was wondering if you guys have had any of those same dreams. And if you have, I'd love to hear about them. Anything close to what I've had. Because um, it's got to mean something. Uh, I just, I hope you all, um, you know, hit me, hit me up and let me know. Uh, it really does mean a lot to me that, um, you know, when you guys comment and, you know, tell me what y'all think and give me your opinions and, and conversate with me, you know, it means the world, but, um, I love y'all. Um, I hope y'all have a good 4th of July and fireworks and, and all that cool stuff. Um, I know I will be trying to.